हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय क्लास सो टुडे वी शिल डिस्कस अबाउट हेल्थ एंड हैप्पीनेस ओके सो हियर वी कैन सी बोथ द टर्म्स हेल्थ एंड हैप्पीनेस बोथ आर रिलेटेड टू ईच अदर सो द फर्स्ट वन इज हेल्थ सो व्हाट इज हेल्थ अ स्टेट ऑफ कंप्लीट फिजिकल मेंटल एंड सोशल वेलबींग एंड द नेक्स्ट वन इज हैप्पीनेस व्हाट डज हैप्पीनेस मींस हैप्पीनेस मींस प्रेजेंस ऑफ पॉजिटिव इमोशन एंड द एब्सेंस ऑफ नेगेटिव इमोशन सो टू स्टे हेल्दी व्हाट वी हैव टू डू टू स्टे हेल्दी द फर्स्ट थिंग वी हैव टू डू इज टू टेक द फूड व्हिच हैव द राइट अमाउंट ऑफ ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ न्यूट्रिएंट एंड द नेक्स्ट वन इज वी हैव टू ड्रिंक अराउंड 8 टू 10 ग्लासेस ऑफ वाटर each and every day and the next one is we have to sleep properly we have to relax we have to look after our body well so the first thing we are we are here to talk about is teeth and gums so teeth and gums are the most important part of our body as the teeth helps us in chewing and grind grinding the food into into smaller substances which means which, which helps in the digestion of substances which we take which helps in the digestion of food which we take so as it is known to us all four different kinds of teeth are there these are what incisor canine premolar and molar so to have healthy teeth and gums what we have to do to have healthy teeth and gums we have to brush at least twice a day at least twice a day so if we do not brush our teeth properly then what will happen the germs as it, as it is known to us all the food particles which we used to the food which we used to take from that some substances get attached to our mouth and as it is known to us all the germs that live inside the mouth are called as what bacteria so when when this bacteria get this food particles they start acting on it and slowly and gradually they they eat up they they destroy they spoil our what teeth and finally we get cavities so when we get cavities then immediately we have to consult with the dentist and sometimes the situation become so much tense that we have to pull out the teeth so we have to look after our teeth and gums properly so what we have to do the first thing is what right after taking something we have to rinse our mouth so if we rinse our mouth then what will happen once we rinse our mouth the food particles which will accumulate in our mouth that will be thrown away by by rinsing okay so what that is that is why right after taking something we have to rinse our mouth properly we have to we have to brush at least twice a day if if in it any time if at any time cavities develop then we have to consult with a doctor immediately so that we can repair itself from further damage so the next thing we are talking about here is eyes ear and nose as it is known to us all eyes ears and nose this three comes under sense organ okay so eyes is one of the most important most delicate organ in our body so that is why we have to look after them properly why because once it get damaged we have to go for an operation so that is why we have to look after them very well so eyes the what is the function of eyes eyes help us to see thing eyes help us to differentiate people eyes even help us to feel so eyes helps us in so many ways that is why we must not read under insufficient light so if we read like this we may we may harm our eyes so that is why what and and the most important thing some, sometimes what sometimes it happens uh, if something get into our eyes we used to rub it like this so we should not do like this why because we may harm our eyes so in that case what we have to do we have to wash our eyes with clean water okay the next thing we are we are talking about here is ear okay so eyes also ear helps us to what what is the function of ear ear help us to listen ear help us to listen ear help us in communicating with other person okay so what we have to do we have to look after ear also properly have you understood so most of the time uh, if dust particles if dust particles accumulate in our ear then what will happen we used to we used to take these things out with with sharp things so instead of doing these things if we do like this we may harm our ear so instead of doing these things these things what we have to do we have to use cotton or soft clothes for taking out the dust particles which accumulate inside our ear so the next things which we are talking about is nose nose help us to breathe nose help us to smell things nose uh, nose help help us in so many ways okay so what we have to do we have to take care of our nose also sometime dust particles or mucus settle inside our nose so in that case what we have to do in this case we have to clean our nose with soft towel okay so the next one is skin and scalp now here i will be talking about skin and scalp so as it, as it is known to us all in case of mango and cold in case of other food you have seen 
Each and every fruit have skin, which protect the inner content. Okay, which protect the fleshy part of the fruit, which content, which protect the inner content of the fruit or whatever it is. Okay, so in case of skin, what do we have to do? Mm, skin protect us. Skin protect our body from external environment. Okay, skin protect our body from external environment. Skin protect the inner content of our body. Skin also protect us from various kinds of diseases. Skin helps us to regulate our body temperature. So what we have to do? We have to we have to take bath regularly. Why? If we do not take bath regularly, then what will happen? The germs or the dust particle that will accumulate on our on our body that will accumulate above the surface of the skin and as it is known to us all wherever the bacteria what are bacteria these are what tiny microorganisms which we cannot see with our naked eyes so in that case what if they get something when dust particle will accumulate on our above, above our skin surface this dust particle this bacteria start acting on it and slowly what it it may cause rashes boils etc so we can damage our skin like this so that is why what we have to do we have to bath regularly we have to bath regularly we have to take care of our skin properly so that the germs doesn't get the opportunity doesn't get the chance to accumulate on it have you understood the next one we'll be talking about here is scalp so skin protect the inner content of our body same cases happens in case of with scalp also scalp protect our brain from external injuries scalp protect the inner content of our of our head have you understood what i said so inside our this skull will get what will get brain cerebrum many things are there okay so you know go to higher class we'll learn about it so skull protect the inner content of our of our head that is skull protect the inner content of our head that is brain okay so so if we do not take care of it we may harm it many a times dandruff okay many times dandruff several kind of uh, microorganism may start acting on it and they may damage it that is why what we have to do at least twice or thrice a week we have to use either soap or shampoo to to clean to clear our scalp okay so the next things is the next thing is hand and feet so the next thing is as it is known to us all hand help us to lift things hand help us to carry things from one place to another hand helps us to write hand helps us in so many ways and the next thing is what feet so feet helps us to stand upright so both the parts both the parts are of equal importance to us so what we have to do we have to look after our we have to look after this part very well so that we may protect it from from damages okay so what do you have to do we'll find we'll find fingernails okay we'll find toenails so in 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 our hand on our hand we'll find what fingernails and you'll find toenails what do you have to do we have to keep our fingernails and toenails trimmed why because most of the time if we do not cut our nails so we will find something some black like substances some blackish substances accumulate inside our nail so while taking food this while taking food this dust particle may go into our may go inside our what stomach and thereby it thereby what making us what making us ill so what we have to do we must we must have to cut our fingernails and toenails okay so if we cut it properly if we cut at its proper time then the dust particle will not get not accumulate there and the bacteria will not get any opportunity to act on it and thereby it will protect us from various kinds of diseases so we have to keep our fingernails and toenails trimmed okay we have to use we have to use next in case of feet we have to use clean socks if we do not put clean socks then what will happen uh, again what most of the time after i started putting socks we used to get the smell okay we used to get bad smell why because if we do not if we if means what whenever we get bad smell we have to understand that bacteria what started acting on it and thereby what they it may makes us fall ill so the next thing what right after visit right after returning from the what whenever we visit toilet we have to clean our hand we have to clean our hand properly we have to wash our hand properly so these are the things which we must have to follow to maintain good health so next things is what we, we are going to we are going to learn here is what muscles and bone so muscle muscles are mainly responsible for for maintaining for maintaining and changing postures as well as movement of various 
body parts okay so so to have healthy muscles to have healthy muscles what we have to do we have to exercise regularly so whenever we exercise whenever we exercise large muscle movement take place which makes our which makes our muscles stronger okay so the next thing is what bones so bones are the bones are the framework of our body it gives our body what it gives our body shape okay so so to 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 maintain to maintain our bones and muscles we have to exercise regularly to maintain what to maintain our bones we have to take the food which have the right amount of calcium okay so the what now here a term comes so that is what posture what does posture means posture means the way we sit stand or walk so what does posture means posture means the way we sit stand or walk so whenever we walk we must have to maintain a healthy posture we must we must be straight while walking so whenever we sit whenever we sit we must again maintain a good position while sitting while walking also we must have to maintain a good position we have to maintain a good body shape why because if we do not do like this we may get a permanent stout or we may get back aches we may feel pain on our back many types of problem may come to us if we do not follow these things so the next thing is what sound sleep the next thing is sound sleep so what does sound sleep means means what uh as it is known to us all whenever we feel tired whenever we get tired we generally what take rest for long time so that our body may what become our body may become fit for the next thing okay so whenever we read for one hour generally we used to take rest we used to take tea or we used to walk for a while okay so whenever we play right after running from whenever we go to playground right after returning from there we used to take rest we used to sit for a while we used to wash our face and all we used to what we 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 used to, we used to drink water etc we used to drink glucose why because at that time whenever we play for a for whenever we play for some time we feel what tired so so to drive away this tiredness we have to take rest for a while okay so the same cases happens with us after spending the whole day we must have to take rest for some time so if we do not take rest we won't be able to carry out the next work we won't be able to do the other works okay so that is why that is why what that is why it is our duty to sleep at least at least 7 to 8 hours in a day at least 7 to 8 hours in a day so whenever we sleep our whole body what relax our whole body gets a rest and then it becomes fit for the next day have you understood so whenever we sleep each and every day we see a lot of things around us we read many things we do sums we used to play we talk to our friends so many things we do so whenever we sleep our body our brain gets the time to sort out all these things which are necessary to us which are essential to us and it it and our brain rejects all the things which are not necessary to us that is why after doing work throughout the day we must have to sleep at least 7 to 8 hours in a day to make our body to keep our body fit so if we do not sleep if we do not sleep for 6 for 7 to 8 hours then the next morning we may face several kinds of problem we may face indigestion problem we may face headache so many things may comes to us that is why to maintain good health to stay happy it is our duty to to make it is our duty to it is our duty to make a daily routine so that we may stay healthy and happy so the next one is happiness the next one is happiness as it is known to us all happiness happiness is the presence of positive emotions and the absence of negative emotions so simply it will not come to us the first things we have to do is to stay healthy and to stay healthy we have to do all these things to stay healthy so to stay healthy we have to look towards the each and every parts of our body in 
equal manner all the parts of our body all the parts of our body are of equal importance to us so if we do not take if, if we do not take care of the different part of our body then there is no chance for us to live a healthy life as i told you about teeth and gums most important part of our body which aids which has in digestion okay so what we have in that case already i said again i am saying so what we have to do to maintain healthy to to maintain healthy teeth and gums we have to brush at least twice a day the next thing we have to do is whenever we take something immediately we have to rinse our mouth so if we rinse our mouth the things which will accumulate in our mouth that will be driven away by rinsing okay the next thing we have to do is what the next thing as i told you earlier about eyes ears and nose in that case also we must have to be conscious because these are the most important part of our body those who do not have eyes or those who cannot see so for them the whole world is dark so that is why we have to take care of it properly okay same cases happens in case of with ear also so if we do not have if our ears doesn't function properly doesn't work properly then what will happen we cannot listen even whatever what whatever i am i am saying here we even cannot listen these things also if somebody talk to us we cannot listen that will that will what for that we have to suffer from several kinds of problem that will also for that reason we have to suffer in communicating with others also the next thing is what nose as i told you that many a time most of especially during the winters and mucus accumulate inside our nose in that case what we have to do instead of using fingernail instead of using something which is sharp we have to use soft cloth so that we may protect it from any kind of injuries okay skin and scalp i said what most important organ regulate our body temperature skin helps to regulate our body temperature uh, skin protect the inner content of our body okay so if we do not take bath regularly the germs the dust particle is dust particle will accumulate there then bacteria will start acting on it and then we may get skin diseases then again several kind of problem will arise so that is why we have to take care of all the body parts properly okay so so uh next one the last one is what as we talking like the last one is uh, happiness okay the last one is happiness so what we have to do as i told you that to stay healthy we have to look towards our body we have to we have to take care of our body in a proper manner so happiness is the presence of what positive emotions and the absence of negative emotions so simply these things will not come to us we have to work a lot have you understood so the first thing what we have to do we must try our level best to do is and everything which makes us healthy okay which makes us healthy so sometimes what we people do most of the time we feel happy when we talk to our parents we feel happy when we talk to our parents so at the same time when we come to school many things happens to us sometimes we say harsh word to our friends so if we have done any kind if we have done this kinds of things so what we have to do then and there we have to make them happy so so when we make others happy at the same time we also used to feel happy so what we have to do we, we can also what we can what we can we can paint something we can read fairy tales we can ride bicycle we can watch televisions so uh, the things which makes us happy every day what we have to do this kinds of things for certain for some period of time okay so the next one is what whenever we feel sad as we are human beings we have feelings we have emotions so whenever we feel sad this sadness may be due to uh, maybe different kinds of due to different kinds of reason okay so whenever we feel sad at the same time what we have to do we have to talk to the one whom we love the most okay we have to talk to the one whom we love the most suppose whenever we feel sad 
we, we must we can talk to our parents they they help us to what they may help us to overcome this sadness this okay we may talk to our friends we may talk to our teachers so many 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 what many students are there many siblings are there many things are there okay so the things which makes us happy we have to do these things each and every day another thing is what as as each and every morning used to come to the school so if you do not arrange your books and copies according to the routine you may what you may feel sad you may feel worry about before coming to school due to the what as you have not arranged all these things so before going to bed what you can do before going to bed you may arrange all these things so that the next morning easily you can get all these things and is it what so if you do like this so there is chance of living a healthy and happy life okay so here the chapter is finished so if you face any problem you may write on the comment box i shall give reply thank you